So in starting another project, I found that I needed to cut a radius on the end of a uh, piece in an inch and a half square. Uh, so with limited tooling, of course, you've got to make do what you have. So what I found out is that uh, these small rotary tables, you can take the uh, you can take the Morse taper plug out of the center of them. And what that enables you to do is to make up uh, a custom plug to fit whatever application you want to use this thing for. Uh, turning radius on a small part or and uh, so what I've got is a plug that's made for a was well, just a light press fit into the table and then we cut the stub to fit the part that we want to turn in this case it happens to be three quarter inch so we get our part bolted down with the bolt through the top Now we'll run our dial indicator on the side to get it square. We'll start a table at zero, and we'll get our dial indicator and square our part to the table, and then we can run back to 45 degrees we need on this side and around to a 180 to give us a full sweep on this on this piece. So we got our table locked down at zero. Uh, now we'll uh, indicate our piece in square. As soon as we unlock this table. Mm. Huh, I don't think that's possible. Right, really this thing is off like a half though. Well, I guess sometimes you get lucky. So we'll finish snugging this down and uh, check it again, then we'll start making our cut. You know that my indicator is broke. Okay, so tightening it down, move to the thou. Oh, that works for me. Now we'll get the phone. So we're going to do this in a series of cuts, probably 250 at a time, run around, uh, go down farther. We've got our quill preset to our depth so we don't hit our table. And uh, just keep hogging metal, I guess, till it's done. Since we have the climb mill to do this back part here, what we're going to do is advance our table uh, three or four or five degrees at a time and we'll plunge and remove the bulk of the metal and then we'll start and come around and do our, uh, do our full sweep.
a lot. I've never used a quill feed on this uh, machine since I bought it, so let's set it up. See how it goes. What are we on? We're on three, three and a half. Disengage our quill feed and we'll go back to making our manual cut snow around here. I said it'll be roughly 150 200 at a time. finished cut our blend didn't work out too bad you get, a, you get a difference in tool pressure from the top to the bottom so it's bound to leave a small shoulder but uh, it's pretty good but you can barely feel it
So here's our part completed so far. Uh, the radius is done. Uh, next thing, next step will be to get on the bandsaw and cut out. Uh, uh, I had some scribe lines, but they're missing. Roughly. Somewhere around there, perhaps a little thinner. We're not making an anchor. Somewhere, perhaps there, and uh, we'll we'll get back in the mill and uh, and uh, smooth it all up. And uh, this part will be done. We'll get working on the next few pieces. Well, that's it for this one. It's a little short video. Don't get much time at the shop the last few days other than making money, so we gotta put the fun stuff to one side. Thanks for watching.